All right, so we're looking at the Vio Electric Mini. Just gonna do a little walk around first. Give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Looks like a Mini, which is, which is good. Which is what you expect. Nice wheels there. I do like the yellow highlights. That's quite nice. That's the charge port there, we'll have a look at that in a second. There you go guys, that's a little walk around with the electric mini. So no front storage space, and uh, unlike the Teslas, um, it's all exposed. I do like the headlights, how they poke through the, uh, the front there, as you can see there are holes up there. Are all the Minis like this, do you know? Yeah, I yeah. think they are. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You'd hope that with an electric car, that's the only maintenance you need to do. Yep. Put the water in for the uh, wiper fluid. Alright, let's have a look at the charge port now. I believe that's a CCS2. Yes. So you got your standard bit. Yep. And then for the uh, rapid DC charging. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Little covers. Indicators there on the on the side, on the yep. side cover. Yep, just so you know yeah. what it's actually doing. Okay. Also, the uh, there are lights, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. The light just oh yeah, right there it is. I'm just up there. Yeah. Nice. So that tells you when you've got it plugged in and charging what it's doing. Okay. Very good. And obviously appears on the screen inside too. Yeah. All right. Let's have a look at the uh, the boot now. The enormous boot space. Yes. Like any mini. You don't buy a mini for uh, storage space. No. It's alright. Fix the shopping. Yeah. Your daily round town kind of errands and things. So you were saying, Michael, that uh, that charger is uh, included with the car? Yep. So it comes with a standard just plug into the wall socket charger. So it's only going to be a slow charge. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can uh, put in a charger at home yourself if you want to you can buy a faster charger mm -hmm. uh, I've got mine with my uh, solar panels with the solar inverter so I didn't need to buy anything else for that nice and it comes with a little um, a puncture repair kit no, no spare obviously ah uh, no spare it comes with the puncture, yep. puncture repair kit can you show us how you put the seats down as well bef as you so did before you can do that from here Obviously, take this one out if you want to. And if you want a flat storage space, you can lift this up and put it in so that it gives you a flat storage space as well. Yep. Oh, that's very handy. Nice solid close. All right, let's go inside the car. Unlike the uh, Teslas, it's a bit more like an ordinary car inside. It's actually basically pretty much exactly the same as the standard Mini, although it's got this digital screen up here, whereas the uh, standard Mini has had an analog screen. Uh, I think they're actually going to change that to a digital screen in other Minis as well. Otherwise, you've got your standard sort of buttons that you see in every Mini. This is, looks exactly the same as a standard Mini, but your start stops down here, so if I put my Put on the brake and just press that down there, it'll turn this on. Car makes nice little sounds when you turn it on. We've got a uh, heads up display, which is nice. Yep. Um, 
then uh, your standard uh, cluster here for all the different uh, infotainment type stuff. So we can change that around, uh, go to the menu. So you got your little controller down here, very BMW-esque I think, I believe, not that I've had a BMW. But rotate it around, you can get your Mini connected or My Mini for all your uh, settings and so on. Yep. In there. Just go back. You've got your own uh, mini navigation system, uh, but it's also got Apple CarPlay, and so you can use either Google Maps from your Apple CarPlay or the mini navigation itself. You can see when I um, change things, it's got this little display around here as well mm. that lights up for different things depending on what you're doing. So it'll light up with the speed when you're driving, it'll show you the temperature if you change the temperature. There it goes, turning the temperature up, turning the temperature down. Mm -hmm. A little bit gimmicky but nifty. So that's uh, the BMW colours, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's different colours for different things. So if I turn oh. the, uh, the volume, will still be very confident. They obviously matches the, the hard oh, yeah. volume on there, just listening to the cricket at the moment. Yes. Uh, so it's got yeah all your different uh, little bits and pieces in there. You've got your standard glove box. Not a lot of storage. Yep. Um, now that's really the only closed storage. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you've got you know your standard drink holders and and so on. Yep. Uh, but not much else for storage. What it does have though, which is quite nice, is wireless. Uh, Charger. Charger. Yeah, for your phone. For your phone. Nice. Uh, which takes up to the latest iPhones. Yep. Nice big size as well. Um, so, phone sits in there, so it charges automatically and obviously links into the system. Very good. Um, so, that's nice. Uh, the armrest does go back as well, if you want to. Oh, yeah. So, you can either have it up or down. Yep. Which again is sort of nice. If you want a bit more room there, there's a little storage down in there. Oh, yeah you want it and this can go into different positions depending on how you want it just adjusting it there oh yeah there you go different levels yep uh, electric park brake so um, have to remember that having driven the uh, tesla for a while it doesn't park automatically you have to well i think it does i believe it does if you forget to put it on it will put it on but um you gotta try to remember to put it on basically yep notice the uh the gear shaft here is that Yep. Electronic there? Oh. Yes, uh, well, no, it's a shift, so you have to push it. So if I push it, it's not going to do anything because I haven't pushed the button on the side. Oh, right. But push to go reverse and towards to go into drive and just push for, for park yep. um, on there. Again, that's basically the same as in their standard minis in terms of appearance and so on. Okay. Um, so again, a little bit different to the Tesla where it's all on there. Mm. on your uh, steering wheel yep. you've got all this extra stuff yep. uh, much more standard sort of uh, steering wheel compared to the Tesla you've got your indicators on the left uh, windscreen wipers on the right you've got your standard controls and things on here so cruise control and then your um, entertainment controls hands you know, voice voice uh, control telephone answer and hang up on there so all the standard things that you see these days Okay, so you've got our digital display on here where we've got the battery. Um, you can actually, uh, with the onboard computer, get a, an actual display of how much battery you've got left versus this little one which goes down in incremental things. 14.1 um, kilowatts per 100 kilometres, yep. so it gives, gives an idea. The battery is, I think it's 32 kilowatt battery, so I mean, on what I'm using at the moment, would get, you know, around 200 kilometres out of a charge. I say 230, you know, I mean, it's going to be somewhere around that 8, you know, 180 to 220, something in there. Yep. And then the uh, power we're using, as I say, on the other side there. Uh, when we're driving, this will have the uh, speed on there, but you've also got a heads-up display, as we said before. Um, and all your warning lights and things will come on in here as well. So if I toggle the regenerative braking, that's low energy, or standard energy and it just toggles between these two little displays here showing whether you've got low energy or full regenerative. I like the full regenerative uh, as we all do that like electric cars I guess. Absolutely.
all the seats uh, manual adjustments rather than electric seats. Uh, whether they're doing that to save battery power, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> so just manual adjustment on the seats. Forwards and backwards, up and down. And this one which you tried to get in with is the uh, backrest. It does have a uh, lumbar support as well, which is on the inside here. Again, manual adjustment on the lumbar support. Uh, and the other thing that's missing in the car is uh, bliss. There's no bliss in terms of the uh, when you're driving with your mirrors and so on. So you've got to make sure you're keeping, keeping your eye on your mirrors. There's no uh, warnings if there's something in your blind spot. Gotcha. That's fine. And it's uh, not a glass roof, is it? I didn't see one inside. No. All right, I think it might be time to go for a drive. What say you? Yep, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Headroom. Plenty of headroom, yeah. Lots exactly. of headroom, yeah. so even though it's a small car. Yeah. So I read zero to 100 in about seven seconds? Yeah, that's what they reckon. It certainly feels plenty nippy. Um, I mean, we also have a, a three, and it's certainly not as nippy as the, the Tesla three. But I tell you what, it doesn't feel far off it. No. And for the sort of driving you want for this car, which is basically city driving, mm -hmm. um, you don't need it any more than that. Mm -hmm. And I'm mainly driving it just in its standard mode. My standard means acceleration-wise. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it's got four modes. Uh, standard sports in the two green modes, mm -hmm. and uh, as I say, I basically take it in the uh, standard mode. And uh, we were saying uh, 32 kilowatt hour battery for 200 odd kilometers of range. Yeah. And uh, you pretty much use this as a town car, don't you? Just back and forth from home to work. At the stage? That's basically what I bought it for, mm -hmm. and because we've got the Tesla 3 for long range driving. Yep. So it makes a good secondary car basically. It's perfect, we're just driving around town as yep. I say. And uh, you know, obviously stick it on the charger, it doesn't take long to charge it either. Absolutely. Because it doesn't have that much battery to charge. That's true. Do you know how much, what's the charge rate? Is it single phase, seven kilowatts? Uh, yeah, well, my charger at home charges it at, a, at about, I think, somewhere between five and six. Okay. Uh, that's, that's just on my solar charger from home. Mm. Um, the, yeah, Mini have a, uh, I think, a seven charger that charges at seven. Mm. Let's go left. Sure. The lights say go left, <laughs> go left. So go seven is about is like, 50 kilometers an hour, I guess, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, if you do a fast DC charge, mm. uh, you can charge it, you know, 80% 80 oh. I'll leave that for the moment. It's probably my wife wondering where I am. <laughs> and, yeah, you can charge it, you know, virtually from nothing to 100 in uh, a very short period of time. Yep. On a fast DC charge. Not that I've done it yet, I haven't needed to. No. Well, that's the benefit of a smaller battery, or you know, you can just charge very quickly. Like yeah. You said. Yep. Do you plan to do any road trips with this? Probably not. <laughs> uh, it, um, we bought it as a as a car for just nipping around town. Yep. Um, you know, I like to normally when COVID's not around, travel into town a fair bit, and go to uh, a fair bit of live music and so on, and this is the ideal car. Easy to park. Oh yeah. Small spaces, and um, yeah, so it's nice and easy. And then, as I say, if we want to do a road trip, then we take the uh, Tesla three. Three. Do you mind me asking how much this cost? This car. So this is sixty thousand on the road. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the first generation, which obviously this is, they're not available now. I'm not sure whether the next lot are going to be second generation slightly different but then the next batch of minis are not coming till the end of this year i believe wow it's a long wait um 
or certainly second half of the year, August, September, something like that, is what they're saying. Yeah. Uh, this was about the second last one available in Australia, to get in Australia. Because I remember I spoke to you last year, you only went for a test drive late last year, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, there were two cars left, basically. This one and a red one, uh, and a demo. Right. And, um, yeah, they were all sold. Well, the red one sold yeah. before I even put a deposit down on this one. I mean, 60 grand is it's actually pretty good. It's pretty achievable for a lot of people. Yeah, it's still a lot more than, you know, a, a, a petrol car mm. in some ways. But, I mean, it's getting there. Mm. It? It it's, is. it's down there. You know, what you're sacrificing is range, but it's it's beautifully finished inside. Absolutely. As you can see. Uh, really good. So I guess that's the BMW yep. thing. They don't want to have something that's cheap. No, no, I was going to say I can't fault finishing, it's really good. No, the finish is nice. Yeah. Uh, it's it's quite a tight suspension mm. in terms of ride, so it's quite a firm ride. Uh, we might be heading down this way, we'll go back along. Yeah, it's definitely an electric car. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's nice. Uh, if you want to put your foot down, yeah. you can put your foot down. I'm, I'm, like I'm <laughs> barely even uh, touching it. Yeah, I haven't had any problems uh, at traffic lights or anything getting off. Good. But it is nice having that acceleration when you need it. Yeah, it's a good out of situations like getting out of a tight turn or something. So my plan is to keep this for a few years until there's a few more cars on the market. Mm. And uh, will probably uh, then be bought my, by my daughter, right. who's always wanted a Mini. Aren't you a good dad? <laughs> She'll get it at a good price, but you won't get it for free. <laughs> Got that on record now. <laughs> yeah. But there'll be obviously a lot more cars coming out in the next few years, I yeah. think. So <clears throat> this got me out of, uh, out of a petrol car. That's good. And... Uh, so we're now fully electric at home, apart from kids' cars. Excellent. Excellent. Well, one more EV is one less ice car on the road. And I feel much less guilty now, because previously if uh, my wife had the Tesla, I'd had to drive my petrol car and I had to get in the, in the end. <laughs> you kind of let her have all the fun. No. But it's uh, an easy little car to drive, um, particularly in the sort of you know tight city driving situations and so on as well. Yeah, absolutely. The only other thing I miss from the uh, Tesla is you actually do have to put your foot on the brake and keep it on the brake. Oh, okay. Um, it can roll otherwise. So there's no hold. Well, there is a hold for starting on hills. But if you're pointing down, it'll oh. roll forward. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have that lock brake mm. feature that you have on the uh, Tesla, which is sort of nice. I think I've gotten used to driving like that. Yeah, well, you do get used to it. Mm. There's certainly benefits to driving a smaller car in the city, that's for sure. Well, we're through a little tight suburb here at the moment. Yeah. But it's handles it easy. No, look, it's been really uh, fun to drive actually. It's good. I've really enjoyed it. I could just hear the pedestrian warning sound, just, I think. Yeah, you, you do hear it when you're going slow. Mm. Um, when I first drove the car, just test driving, I thought, what's that noise? And then I remembered, of course. Uh, it's a European, certainly UK standard, they have to have it. Yeah. And it probably won't be long before we have it in Australia. So it's not a bad thing, but it is a, it is a, an electric wine, mm. very much. And the road noise is pretty good, like, it's not too loud. No, you can, you know, it's like any car, you, you get some road noise. And as I say, it is a fairly tight suspension, so it's, mm. it 
it's uh, but I guess it's it's still supposed to be a sporty type of car. They they still give it the S badge. Uh, it's a Cooper S. Yep. Uh, if you look on the back, it's Cooper S. It's called a Cooper S. Even the back badging on the back is a Cooper S. Saw that, yes. Because as far as they're concerned, it's still a, a little sporty yeah. mini. I have taken it out on the freeway. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, just to give it a little, little test run and uh, speed with ease. Yep. Uh, no doubt about that. But you will be limited in the uh, driving range. Of so you wouldn't You wouldn't want to be out on the freeway for too long. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd want to know where the next place you could stop in and charge. You'd have to plan, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like the... Um, Tesla, I do have to make sure I uh, do keep an eye on the head-up head display. It's very easy to uh, end up speeding in these things. I can't quite see what's there. What are you looking at there on the heads-up? Is it the speedometer? Yeah, it's got the um, speed limit and then what we're actually doing and it will bring up warning lights and so on as well. Okay. Uh, in that display. So if I were to drive up on the back of that car there, it would let me know. I wonder if they'll make an electric Countryman, the big one. Ah, uh, well there's a hybrid. So you can get it in a hybrid at the moment, oh. not rather than full electric. That okay. was the other electric that they brought out, but it's a hybrid electric. Right, okay. Um, but I'm sure they will. I'm sure it won't be long. Yeah. So yeah, you can get the, the hybrid in the uh, bigger version. And the fully electric just comes in the three door hatch at the moment. A few more options in the UK than we have here in Australia, but uh, at least on yep. the first generation, we'll see what they come out with next. We're getting there. And here we are. Well, thank you, Michael. That was, uh, that was fun. Thank you for that. Pleasure. So much fun. <laughs>